Hello and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to talk about servers and events with .NET Core. So let's jump right in. Make sure to check out the link down below because we always provide the code samples that you can pull down and follow along so you can see in our project. Alright, what are server send events? Server send event is a mechanism for a server to stream data to the browser and then surface those messages as events. If you have used any of the AI chat tools, you have probably seen it in action. In practice, it can be a good alternative to options such as WebSockets when you need to have a specific windows of server pushed events since it's easy to implement as just another HTTP endpoint in your API without much added complexity. So start by creating a simple .NET Web API project. So we will do some basic setup. After that, we will add SSE endpoint. So it will be quite simple. Do you want to earn $100,000 a year? Do you want to become a software developer within just three months? With our amazing course and awesome tutors, you never have to worry about getting stuck. We help students to learn skills that companies want to hire. We are Startup Hack. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's get started. So here we added some basic setup on a simple web API project. After that, we have added this SAC endpoint over here like this. As you can see here, generate text stream. So it will automatically generate the text stream over the server. So server will send this event as a web socket to the front end. We iterate over our simulated content stream and write it segment by segment. In this case, we are simply returning a stream of text from lorem ipsum, but, but it not be so simple. The code could use task.delay and then query a database for changes, for example, and send new events to stream back to the scholar. Each event payload is delineated by a double new line and we use a custom event payload uh, and to tell the client side that the stream has completed. All right, let's implement the client. The client implementation relies on the native browser event source. In this example, we are using just simple JS. On each message, double new line, we check to see if we have reached the end of our stream by check for N. If not, we just keep appending the text. Easy. Keep in mind, you can send back any payload that you want, JSON, XML bytes, whatever suits your needs. So here's an example of script. All right, let's run our project and I am going to click generate button. So let's see it's generating the content sending from the server and you can see it will not end till the end tag will be completed. So here's it completed. So thank you for watching this video. Servers and events are useful tools to have in your bell for building certain types of stream interaction from the server to the client. It's alternative to WebSockets when you had preferred to have an HTTP-based solution and there is a bias to the server response stream pushing events rather than the client requests stream pushing events. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. To joining our course, you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com. Thank you.